I am an advocate, I am a wife, I am a mom. And thanks to the Bacchus Cancer Center, I am a survivor. For 15 years, the Bacchus Cancer Center has been helping to ensure that for people like me, cancer is just a chapter in their life, not the whole story. New London is a city with a mixed reputation, where some see a vibrant center for music and the arts, others see a downtown plagued by crime and violence. On one Thursday night, both sides of the city were apparent. And it's a good place to ride his bike, the pier. I mean, I sometimes love the trains coming in and out, and the ferries, and the Coast Guard, tall ships. So this is our nice evening. After dinner, we come down and just take a stroll. I come in here every day. Every day? Walking. I walk everywhere. I mean, people see me down by Ocean Beach. They see me every street in New London. I have never felt threatened, never, in New London. Never. Now, I can understand why people don't feel safe coming down here. Yeah, why? Why do you understand that? Well, you know, sometimes you get people down here, they get loud. Mm -hmm. Extremely loud. Very obnoxious loud. Okay? And it's uncomfortable, you know, to somebody like the couple that's walking here right now. They don't need to hear no vulgarity. I don't think it's as bad as, I know it's not as bad as what people think it is. Okay. It's definitely not. At the other end of State Street, a friendly game of darts was underway at Hannafin's Pub. At 7.30, a handful of regulars settled down for a quiet dinner time at Devs on Bank Street. When you have radio stations going on and on about how, sa how unsafe New London is, um, stay out of New London, boycott New London, you know, the ripple effect is tremendous. You have people from Mystic, from Stonington, that already, you know, have a few ideas about New London as a city. And then all of a sudden to hear people going out of their way to say how horrible we are, to stay away from us, it hurts. I, I laugh at it, to be honest with you. I mean, because I've heard the same stories since the 80s and I've never encountered a single problem. And the main reason why I even bought a house here in 96 was because of the diversity, because of the different people. It's nothing compared to what it used to be. It's much, much safer. I mean, now I can walk down the street to the store and not have to worry about being attacked. <laughs> you know. But then again, the way I look kind of helps probably too. Uh, there was one incident of, I, I heard someone fire a gun outside my window, you know? They said, you shot at me, you shot at me. I heard a pop and a crack and uh, the police arrived right away. At 9 o'clock, a small crowd in the Hygienic Art Park gathered for a screening of the documentary, A Band Called Death. You know, people say all these terrible things about New London, but it's like, it's such a wonderful place. I've Walk through town a bazillion times. I have no problem walking through town. I like the energy. Down the street at 9.15, Anna Salzberg and a group of friends traveling the country hung out on the steps of Muddy Waters Cafe, while Andre and friends performed a few doors down at Hot Rod Cafe. I say it's a lot, a lot better down here than what it used to be. Um, years ago, you didn't come down the 7th Street. I mean, this is where the culture is. So, I mean, downtown is, is really happening. There are people walking around, there are lots of things to do. Um, so, the same way that I would do in New York, the same way I would do in New London, I think that there's a lot of fun to be had, and you're silly to stay home and not take advantage of it. Meanwhile, less than a mile away on Connecticut Avenue, New London police investigated the fatal shooting of 29-year-old Jesus Pinheiro. By midnight, there was little foot traffic on Bank Street outside the Exchange Cafe. While DJ Frank Lowe spun records at 33 Golden Street. By 12.45, a few bars and restaurants had closed for the night, but a modest crowd remained at the Oasis Pub. New London is a great town, and it gets a bad rap, but it's a great town, it's fun, it's usually pretty safe, and it's, I would, I'm not afraid to walk into London. It's a, it's a great place to be. It's a great town to live in. I moved here in 2008, and I have not ever looked back. By 1 a.m., the relative quiet was briefly disturbed as bars closed for the evening. Just 
Everybody's good. Everybody's good.